I'm Sean Griffiths and I'm here at Cafe Culture with Francesco Gatti and Molma. Francesco, can you tell me a little bit about Molma? Yes, um, Molma was started 25 years ago by uh, Agostino Luggeri and Enzo Frangiamore, who are still the managing directors these days, so one of the few companies in the UK that haven't changed the hands. Um, the company uh, started uh, basically from uh, the little, um, you know, a small office in the in the living rooms, and uh, it grew to be like a company with more 110 employees these days, uh, 40 of which are uh, engineers who drive around uh, the UK with vans full of parts. Because what we do is we import uh, machines, coffee machines from Italy, and uh, we provide service and maintenance to all everything that we sell. Um, the biggest customer would be Cafe Nero, who we supported from day one, and um, we they've been our customer ever since. And now they've got 600 shops in the UK. We look after all the machines, all the equipment. Uh, we do some of the uh, franchise, um, sorry, uh, own clusters uh, in London. Uh, we got Nestle, and we also have like a very strong uh, independent customer base. Interesting, and I can see today that you're here with Fama. Could you tell me a little bit about them? I understand they're celebrating their 70th anniversary. Absolutely. So uh, we're here at Cafe Culture uh, with uh, Fama, who is one of the brands that we import. Um, Fama is celebrating, like you said, the 70th anniversary of this year. So they really um, um, give it a big push to you know to the to like uh, sponsorship and to like, promote their machines uh, even more. Uh, today we're here with the E61, which is uh, the machine that revolutionized espresso back in the, in the 60s. Uh, it was created in 1961, and um, in 2011 they started, uh, they brought out the uh, Jubilee um, anniversary, so they've remade this machine with exactly the same panels, but like much newer technology now. And I can just see that you've got a couple of bikes on the wall Yeah, here. very expensive bikes as well, yeah. <laughs> Could you tell me what the link is? Uh... Yeah, the link is, uh, well these days, um, we'll see more and more uh, coffee shops uh, become cycling shops and vice versa, so there's, uh, there's a connection there. And uh, we thought it'd be good to bring back the Pahema Heritage because uh, historically, they used to have like a, one of the most successful racing teams in the 1950s and 60s. Uh, Eddie Merckx was the star rider. Uh, he won the Tour and the Giro a few times with them. So uh, we just thought it was very apt to sort of like buy a couple of very expensive bikes and bring back that connection today at the, at the festival. That's really fascinating. Thanks very much for your time, Francesco. No problem.